you know, being a part of the community, uh, really letting go of my past self. I, I kept feeling that I was living a double life with, uh, you know, manipulation and uh, fornication, just kind of being of the world and not really being a part of the of Christ's family and living that orphan mindset. So I started to get, you know, more vulnerable as time went on and, and recognized that, you know, being double-minded and or double living a double life wasn't what God had called me to uh, as a son. So I further kind of made myself vulnerable to the family and opened up about a lot of things and really wanted to change and surrender my life to God in a better way. And then there was this one time uh, we had this spontaneous baptism that took place and this was probably the the most unique moment for me in really surrendering my life over to God. I had just been standing there worshiping and I just kept feeling uh, the Holy Spirit pulling me towards it and it's, it's as if I saw this angel just troubling the water for me and said come in the pool come in the pool and I was like I was telling myself I was having this war in my mind like no I'm not gonna go in there you know um, it's too cold I'm not gonna do it that water is dirty and I don't know where it came from and I just kept giving myself these excuses and reasons and reasons of why not to and then I finally kind of felt the Holy Spirit pulling me more and uh, people started getting around me and say like, you know, this is the moment that you've been waiting for. This is the moment that you've really been pressing into. And so I got in the pool and I could really feel myself uh, surrendering those old things, that was the old way of life that I was living. All those things had brushed off of me and I really came out of the water feeling like the son of God and being a part of this family. Mm -hmm.